we're going to kick things off with our uh, our young combo. We have uh, we've got two combos here that are that are functioning, and, and this group is going to play a tune for you. And uh, they have chosen the name of Scarlet for their ensemble. So I think I'm just going to let the uh, music do the talk and say thanks so much for being here.
So, uh, I have somebody special to welcome to stage before I say too much more. So, Justin, where are you at? Justin. Paging Justin. Doctor, soon to be doctor. Come here. So, that, um, this is Justin Copeland, everybody. And I, I know I was up here playing with him, but that combo has not been under my instruction. That has actually been Justin's uh, combo. He's been coaching. I met Justin this summer, and I told him that I have a, a series of jazz programs, groups I work with out in the Beaverton area, and I'm in need of help. And so we've been teaching together for the first two months of the school year, and then um, we split up and split the groups up. And since uh, at the end of October, the beginning of November, he's been working with that group of individuals, and they've come a long way already, and it's awesome. So I want Justin to introduce himself to you guys. And then uh, he will be also playing, sitting in, filling a chair on the Jazz 2 group, which is about to perform after we're done fitting, uh, setting up the chairs. So you'll continue to get to hear his influence. So Justin, thank you so much, and here you go. Thank you, Justin. My name is Justin Copeland. I'll keep this brief. Uh, I'm originally from California, actually. I just moved here from Chicago, where I was for the past seven years, back in the summer. So literally, as soon as I got here, within the first three weeks, I met Tristan. He said, I need a teacher. I said, I need a job. <laughs> it worked out. And since then, it's been off to the races. I've been bouncing around all over the school district, working at a few different schools, and I've had a lot of really fun time so far working here at South Ridge, so I'm really happy to be here. Um, working with the combo, you just saw, really proud of these guys. We had like basically one and a half rehearsals to put that stuff together. And so as the, the year goes on, they're only gonna get better, look forward to that. Um, I'm gonna stop rambling, that's all I really have to say. I could keep going, but we don't have to do that. So uh, I'll give it back to Tristan, thank you. Okay, so, uh, in just a moment, excuse me, just a moment, we're going to bring uh, Jazz 2 out here. And Jared, I'm sorry, I did not get a chance to write down soloists. 
Okay, cool. Um, any, in any way, we have to, it's been crazy, crazy evening. How are you all doing? Are you having fun? Okay, good. Ah, there you are. Yeah, there, okay. Um, yeah, so uh, just to welcome yourselves onto the stage, please. Um, We have two different jazz ensembles that meet in the mornings. This is Jazz 2, and you'll hear Jazz 1 later this evening. I've had the pleasure of working with these individuals, um, and I don't know, it, it, uh, what I'm most excited about is not that we have uh, a balanced ensemble, which hasn't happened yet at Southridge teaching Jazz 2 since I've been here, but we have the perfect instrumentation. We have five saxophones, four trombones, and with Justin's assistance, we have four trumpets, and we have a, a rhythm section that's right. And this is awesome because we can play arrangements correctly. Um, but what I'm most excited about is how enthusiastic these individuals are, and they show up every morning, early in the morning, um, which is not a task to take lightly, as I'm sure you guys are aware. And, uh, but we've grown so much because they're all really excited to be here every day. And um, so I'm really excited to share with you Southridge Jazz 2. And our first song is called, should I say, it's kind of goofy, it's in your program, Beantown Blues Parade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's as corny as it sounds, so without further ado.
So let me make sure I can name all the people I featured. I featured uh, Armin on the clarinet over here. I featured Gabe on the trombone. I featured Trevor on the trumpet. I featured Justin on the drums. And our guest soloist on that song was Justin on the trumpet. Okay, the next two we're gonna do is a classic from the Basie um, Library Count Basie Jazz Orchestra, and it's uh, by Quincy Jones. It's called Left. Well, it's an arrangement of a tune called "I Left My Heart in San Francisco" by Quincy Jones. And uh, Quincy, if you're not familiar with his work as a big band writer, you're probably familiar with his work as a uh, uh, Michael Jackson's music. Um, he helped produce Michael Jackson. The Jackson. Five, and that's where he's most known, um, and of course still alive and still making music, and kind of like the grandfather of the music industry. A really incredible man with a really incredible career. Um, but this is a big band arrangement he did for the Count Basie Orchestra. This is called Love My Heart in San Francisco. Again, this time on the tenor saxophone. And uh, Liam on the cutoff. <laughs> they don't even need me. Um, and because it's a bassy tune, of course, we had to feature the piano player. So this is the Ella. <laughs> Not so much like a solo at any one point, but throughout the entire arrangement. So, you know. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can applaud her twice. Uh, the last piece that Jazz 2 is going to do for you this evening is called The Darker Shade of Blue. This is by Doug Beach. And uh, I think we're going to feature Liam on alto, Gabe on trombone, and Trevor again on trumpet. Um, with some nice big band drumming work from Justin on the set again. So please enjoy A Darker Shade of Blue, and thank you for having us. <laughs> <laughs> 